Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create hover sections with DV's new sizing and overflow settings. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We're going to give a page a name. So we're going to just call this hover sections with DV's new sizing and overflow settings. And then we're going to click on use DV Builder. Here we need to build from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this option. And we're going to start off by adding a background color to our section. So I'm gonna click on my section settings here. And I prefer working with this snap to the left. So I'm gonna, next I'm gonna come over here to background. So what we need to do next is to add our hover state. So I'm gonna click here on this arrow and making sure the hover tab is selected. Here we're going to add white as our hover state color. So I'm gonna select this and then we're gonna save. Next, we're gonna add our column. So I'm gonna click this plus button and add a single column. And in that column, we're gonna add a text module. So I'm just gonna type here and select it. So in here, this is where we want to add the title. So I'm just gonna call this about, and I'm just gonna add this little symbol here. So for this text here to really work, this needs to be a heading. So I'm gonna highlight it and set this to heading two. Now let's head over to heading two and make some customizations. So I'm gonna click here on design, heading text, and then I'm gonna select heading two. So here we want to start by changing the font. So I'm gonna click here on default and we're going to choose our font here. So I'm just gonna search for it. So this is the font I'm gonna use, I'm gonna select it. And then over here by default, it's set to regular. So I'm gonna set this to ultra bold. Text alignment, I'm gonna align everything to the left. And also we're going to give our heading to a specific color. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the post uh, below so you can go to the post which has all these settings. All right, so moving on, I've just added my color. And now let's go to our text size. So over here by default, it's set at 26. We're gonna to need to set this to 100. And while we're here, we might as well add our sizes for the desktop and the smartphone. So I'm gonna click on this little icon here. And for the tablet, I'm going to set this to 80. And for the phone, I'm gonna set it to 60. So this just ensures that um, every screen size you take a look at your, you take a look at, it's gonna have consistent sizes. Okay, so now that we have this, the next stage is to add some letter spacing because as we can see here, the text is a bit too, it's, it has too many gaps, be, uh, gaps between. So for our letter spacing here, I'm gonna set this to minus five. Okay, so things are a bit tighter now. Right, so that's all we need to do for now. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Next, we need to add a divider module. So I'm gonna click this plus button and I'm gonna search for it just by typing a few letters and here it is, I'm gonna select it. So we wanna make sure show divider is set to yes and then and let's start customizing it. So I'm gonna come over here to design line. And the first thing we're gonna do is to add our color for this line. So I'm gonna click on this eyedropper tool and paste this color. Now notice that this color that I've just pasted is the same color as my text. So this just ensures consistency throughout the design. Next, I'm gonna come over here to sizing. So I'm just gonna uh, collapse this. So here on sizing, we need to just make uh, the divider weight two pixels. It's a bit too thin. So I'm gonna just make it slightly bigger. And then the width is going to be set to 14%. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna save. And then it's time to add the second row. So I'm gonna click this plus button and the layout I'm gonna go with is this one third, two thirds. So I'm gonna select it. Now in this first column here, we're going to add some text. So I'm just gonna search for my text module here and select it. And then I'm just gonna add my dummy text in here. Now let's go to the design tab because there's a few settings we need to do here. So I'm gonna click here on text. Now the first thing I'm gonna to do to make this easy to read is to justify everything. So this is done now, I'm gonna save. Now we also need to add a text module to column two. So to make things easier for me, I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Now I'm gonna use some uh, keyboard shortcuts. So I'm on a Mac, so it's gonna be Command C. If you're on a PC, it's Control C to copy. And then over here is Control V to paste. And if you're on a PC, it's if you're on a Mac, it's Command V. Okay, so now that I have my text in place, let's head over here to our section settings and adjust all our, our maximum heights. So I'm gonna click here on section settings, design, sizing. So I'm gonna start here with maximum height and set this to 300. So while we're here, we might as well make some changes to our tablet and our phone. So for the tablet, I'm gonna set it to 280. And for the phone, I'm gonna set the maximum height to 260. Now let's activate the hover tab. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this little icon, 
And on our maximum height here on hover, we're going to set our maximum height to 5,000 pixels. Now I'm going to come to advanced and click on visibility. So what we need to do here is to set our vertical overflow. for. By, so by default, it's set to default. So we need to set this to hidden. And then I'm going to come over here to transitions. And we're just going to start with our transition duration to change this, change this to 800. And then for our transition delay to 500. And then we're going to save. So let's test this and see how this is working so far. So I'm going to save this page. And then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder and see if our hover is working. So I'm going to exit the Visual Builder here. So let's see what happens when I hover. So I'm going to put my mouse over here. And you notice that this is now working. So when I put my mouse away, it goes back to normal. OK, so what we need to do next is to go back in and duplicate this as many times as we want. So I'm just going to click uh, duplicate the entire section. So I'm going to click here a few times like that. And then what you want to do is to change these section titles. So this here could be services. The next one here could be portfolio. And then the final one here is going to be contact. So if you want to be a bit stylish here, what you could do is you could go into the services here and change the text color. So let me just do the example for this one here. So I'm going to click on this gear icon to enter my section settings. Uh, click on design, heading text, heading two. So I'm just going to change my color here by clicking on the eyedropper tool and just pasting my color like that. And then I'm also going to do the, the same thing to my divider here. Click on design, line, change my color. I'm just going to paste my color in here. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so I've done that for this one here, but you can always go ahead and do it for the rest of them if you need to. Now, let's do a final preview. So I'm going to save this. Okay, so let's start with the about. So when I mouse over here, you can see it reveals all my text. Then I'm going to move on to the next one, the services. So same thing. When I hover over it, it just reveals all my content. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.